All right, so <clears throat> I didn't think I could talk this long about my garden, but I'm on to video number three. My uh, cell phone is short on space. Anyway, uh, I left off on the berries. These are ever bearing, which means they are to fruit later in the season. Uh, Marie Du Bois is the variety, and we're looking forward to get some strawberries there. This is a tomato that I did not plant. I planted a tomato three years ago, and. Uh, let a few tomatoes just drop and to, uh, tomato plants grow back. In fact, I've pulled several out. I just kept this one because this is the biggest one. In fact, here's another one right here. Little tomato plant there. And it just keeps reseeding itself. It's pretty cool. Don't do anything and I get, get tomatoes. Uh, these are three tomatillo plants, which is like a green tomato. And you see the little uh, pods here. If you've ever seen tomatillos in the store, they come with like a paper around them. And if you can see, I don't know if the camera's going to pick that up, but you can see a little green berry inside there. It'll hopefully fill that thing right out. And I'm going to get a whole bunch of tomatillos to make uh, verde salsa with. That's a potato right there. That's a potato right there. Those would be of the ones that I just planted a few weeks ago. And they're already just sprouting right out. Just throw a whole potato in the ground and it comes right out as a plant and produces more potatoes. Uh, cilantro that's long gone to seed. This dill just went to seed about a week ago. I can see bees all over that thing, so I just let them just let them go. Bring those beneficial insects in. These are strawberries that are June bearing, and we got like five little dinky berries off that plant right there. Both both sets of berries I uh, I planted from crowns, two year old crowns, so we weren't expecting fruit. In fact, the stuff we're going to get on that other one is just bonus. This is Swiss chard that I did plant from seed, which is doing really well, and I'm probably going to harvest that here really soon. This is spinach that I put in plants, and it's dead. I did take some leaves of, this, of spinach off before it went. I got uh, lettuce uh, off those, uh, those ones in the back there, and now they're going to seed too. As soon as it goes to seed, it doesn't taste good anymore, so I'm just letting them go, or maybe I'll chop and drop them here soon. And then this is curly kale that I planted from plants, and I'm about ready to harvest those too. Lisa wants to try uh, kale chips, so I'm going to do that. Here's kale that I planted from seed. This is red Russian kale, and I'll probably just saute that. And again, it's probably about time that I come in up and harvest that and see, see how it is. Uh, basil. Basil looks really good. That's lemon balm there. And all of this is broccoli, cauliflower, and two kinds of cabbage. Total of 21 plants. Two of them that were over here, they died. The other 19 are doing well. Uh, they look a little bit wilted right now, but that's because it's in the middle of the day in the hot sun. As soon as the sun goes down a little bit, they come back. I really don't have to water back here or anything. My original intent was to have asparagus. I don't know if you can see this. Right there is a asparagus fern, and then there's another kind of an asparagus shoot right there. And I'm hoping to eventually for this to be the asparagus. Uh, it's a, asparagus is a perennial, comes back year after year. So that's what I'm hoping for. Um, only two crowns seem to be producing right now. I, I planted ten of them. Uh, and then this is thyme here, right there. And the last thing I'll show you is that right there, I don't know how well you're going to see it. It's, it's some, again a corn that's been eaten. I, I guess it's the chipmunks. And then back there, I'm trying to zoom in on it. Back there is another corn plant that is so far surviving. And uh, we'll just see. You know, I just threw some corn in the ground. We'll just see what happens. No big deal if it doesn't grow. Uh, the idea here, if you, if you notice the charcoal there, that's, uh, that's from our fire. The idea is to throw um, your ashes, your wood ashes, into your garden. And uh, wood ashes like concentrated minerals. So hopefully it, over the time and over the years it uh, makes our, our uh, food more mineral rich. All right, well, that's it. I'm signing off. Uh, Mrs. Jackson, I think you, uh, I, I hope very much that you like this video. And I mean, I hope you like it and I hope you click on like because I'll either have 100% of my viewers like my videos then or 0% if you don't. So please like my videos. Thank you.